Should we get a pet bird? We have a cat. Well, I have a cat. Let's get a parrot. You have a cat. You look like Florence Pugh if she melts it. <laughs> oh, YouTube comment. They'll break you. <laughs> they'll, they'll, they'll send you to rehab. <laughs> Hi, guys. Welcome. <laughs> Hi, guys. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm joined once again by my roommate and cousin and uncle <laughs> <laughs> Brittany and today we're going to be not kind of roasting and then like helping people with their dating profiles Brittany did a similar video on her channel, which you should go check out I asked you guys on my Twitter like send me your tinder bumble profiles and we're going to help you out with them Send us whole pics. <laughs> Let's rate your whole <laughs> So our first one is by Jeebies. Love that. Her real name is Serenity. She's 19. She's a Spanish major. She says, put me on new music, fair serotonin, treat people with kindness. Yeah, she's a Harry! <laughs> is she straight? I'm bisexual. Okay, T. Childhood celebrity crush is Bob the Builder. <laughs> My dream dinner guest is the ghost of Christmas future. Okay, so she's cultured. Was he hot? Oh, he's kind of spooky. She's so pretty. Yeah, she is really pretty. Your photos are like perfect. Oh my god, she's in Texas. Can't really see anything wrong with it. Should we do a disclaimer that I don't know anything about gay dating profiles? Disclaimer, Brittany doesn't know anything about gay dating profiles. Uh, Mackenzie, best travel story. I once slipped down a roof in Greece. Delete it. No one cares. Yeah. That's a stupid thing on dating apps. Best travel story. I don't care, <laughs> man. I don't know. Unless you're like seriously injured, I probably don't want to hear it. Yeah. <laughs> unless it maimed you. <laughs> Unless it made you who you are today. <laughs> then it's not important. You fell on a roof. Oh, well, I don't care. <laughs> She's from Milwaukee. She's agnostic. I won't shut up about Lana Del Rey. Apologies in advance. Don't apologize for yeah. it. Just Lana Del Rey. My love language is you reassuring me that you will still like me even though we've been together for three years. Valid. Let them know your trauma up front. I'll, st I'll steal your clothes. And your heart. And your heart. <laughs> and sell both of them on the black market. <laughs> if you leave me, I'll <laughs> sell your clothes. What is this? Bio? <laughs> if you unmatch me, I'll fucking kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> when the swipe right God saw you scrolling. <laughs> I mean, I like your profile. Like, you have friends. That's important. You need to let your potential matches know that you're sociable and mm -hmm. not just like you in bed alone. There's some creepos who do that, you know, or it's just a picture of them with like their cat. And it's like, do you leave the house? <laughs> or it's just their cat. It's just cat pics. Just Pussy pics. <laughs> whole pics. Good cat hole pics. <laughs> My cat's hole. <laughs> No, she has three pictures with friends. I say that's like a that's a decent amount. I would say you're perfect. Besides the change the fell off a roof in Greece. Yeah. Okay, so this one is by Meg. She is upsettingly straight. She's pretty. She is pretty. I like that. I'm looking for a relationship where we create severe online emotional intimacy <laughs> while self quarantine, but become too afraid to actually meet for fear of rejection. Yes. 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 She's cute. Oh, Dr. Pepper is a woman that's a Viking thing. Oh. Wow. Teach me something about how to read. Blur her feet pics. Oh, she's smart. She is. Why y'all send these profiles like we have any critiques? This is perfect. <laughs> teach me something about how to read. I do not know how to read. I would say teach me something. This is just like teach me about literacy. I do not know how to read because I don't know. Mm. Something about how to read twice is like weird to read. I like it. She's an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> She's letting you know. I cannot stress how much I, I cannot read. I did voice to text. I for dictated this. my profile. <laughs> Get someone who looks like you. Bonk. <laughs> she did bonk. I like this. Now here's the thing, right? What's her name? Meg. Meg. This is very jokey. So I would do maybe one serious one. Yeah, like one glamour shot. Well, one... she did have the the picture in the beginning. That's true. I want a full glam beat though, and I want a serious question like, where would your first date be? Yeah. Give them something to like talk to you about, because this is obvious. Like, oh, she's funny. She's quirky. She's like a meme girl. Yeah. But like, what? What are y'all gonna talk about? This is Nicholas Peterson. I'm gay as fuck. Yes! <laughs> so Nick is, this is his picture, 22. He, him, they, them, really doesn't matter to me. I love getting back scratches, strictly a bottom. <laughs> Looking for a relationship. Did those two sentences go well, whatever? I don't think so either. 
I love nature and arts and crafts. Arts and crafts? Are you a third grader? <laughs> I love macaroni crafts and hot glue guns. He comes to the first date with like a macaroni necklace. <laughs> He's like, I made this one for me and one for you too as well. <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> my head when we cross the street. I'm gonna be real. I'm hoping to move to California or somewhere near at the end of this year. So come with me or don't. Your choice. Come with me or don't. Oh my gosh, that's so oh, I gotta fart. Period. Don't force it. It's common. Um, I would say add another photo because you only have, oh wait, he has three, but he didn't attach them. Here's my advice. If you're moving, get off of Tinder, like for the time being. Or just say strictly hookups. I would say, yeah, if you're about to move to a different state, don't like stop. Well, like it's the end of the year until he moves to California. So that's like eight months. Yeah. That's gonna be a decent relationship. It's enough time to learn a few lessons. Kill someone. Bury a body. Okay, this girl's name is Aaliyah, Aaliyah, but she's bi. She's 19. Her bio is this. National for now, moving to Cookville in the summer. I'm tech cell, molecular biology, biology and espanol. Libra sun, Libra rising, Sagittarius moon. Open-minded as fuck and love connecting with new people, new ideas, new ways of life. Life path five. Now what is that? I don't know. <laughs> Girl, what have you even said in this bio? <laughs> I radiate green electromagnetic waves. Oh, <laughs> you're Irish. She's a leprechaun. Down for smoking adventures, study sessions, and makeout sessions. Nothing serious, but it happens. It happens. Focus on my future and myself more than anything with a little funnel in the way. And she's a unicorn, which means she she'll have a threesome with you. Did you know that unicorn means a bisexual person will have a threesome with a straight couple? Is that what that emoji means? Yeah. You just made that up. No. Ladies? Okay. Guys? The studio audience behind us? <laughs> Okay, so I have no idea also what it means. I have no idea what the hell you're talking about. <laughs> I want to understand. What's your song? Smells like incense. And also there's no pictures besides your one picture. She's pretty. You're very pretty. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck. Life path five. Has she achieved all other four levels before getting to this life path? <laughs> She's like like a, like a boss. <laughs> She's the final boss. She's defeated the four other life paths. Just a 19 year old bisexual girl. <laughs> Oh my god, imagine being a straight dude reading this. Read it again. <laughs> I'll play the role of straight dude. Nashville for now, moving to Cookville in the summer. Okay. Tech still molecular biology and Spanish. Immediately my masculinity is threatened. Keep going. <laughs> Libra sun, Libra rising, Sagittarius. Don't know moon. what that means. Why does she have a, a garlic clove <laughs> emoji? Open minded as fuck. Love connecting with new people, new ideas, new ways of life. Okay. Prayer. Life path five. Don't know what that means. She likes Call of Duty. <laughs> <laughs> I radiate green electromagnetic waves. She, <laughs> she has been to Chernobyl. <laughs> she is radioactive. <laughs> she has, she's been to Kiev, Ukraine. <laughs> down to, down for smoking adventure study sessions and makeout sessions. Sick. Uh, nothing serious, but if it happens, it happens. Focus on my future and myself more than anything. With a little fun along the way. Okay. I just need a little more explanation, dude. Oh, life. Okay, so this is Sarah. She's 21. She's You're really different. pretty. <laughs> Virus took my job slinging sushi. That sucks. Pansexual woman, SoCal girl, current hair is in the first picture, smoke buddies, redneckery, dead animals on Tinder, show me the NorCal rave scene, fuck Trump, LMAO. How tight are your cooties, <laughs> beef? Gorilla girl. <laughs> Did she just send that separate? That's not part of her profile? It's just a also, here's a meme I think y'all will like. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I just send it separate. Bumble bro. Like that your bio. This pussy gorilla group. <laughs> Instead of sniffing glue before a rave, just sniff my pussy. <laughs> oh Jesus. <laughs> I would just say add more, um, add a picture with a friend. Yeah. Um, add the meme to your dating profile. Are you ripping them? Yeah. If you're at a rave, you don't have to tell anyone that you're pansexual. <laughs> I like it. I like your hair too. Okay, this is Sarah again. Oh my god, there's so many Sarahs. She's 25. Oh, she's pretty. Is this is you. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to fall in love over text and FaceTime until this quarantine is over? She also goes to West Virginia University. She goes to Western Washington. <laughs> They're close. Washington, <laughs> take me home. If you're not enraged by the current political administration, it's probably not going to work out. I just think that if you're not enraged by the current political administration, it's probably not going to work out. I just say, uh, fuck Trump and then me. Ooh, that's good. I like this picture with your friend. Yeah. This is what I thought was funny. Instead of 2020, it's 2002. That's so funny, girly girl. <laughs> 
<laughs> Greatest travel story, bungee jumping in New Zealand. What's with the travel stories? No unless one it, cares. Unless it changed your life, we don't want to know. The on straight news profiles, it's always like, Buy chicken morning after New Zealand. And it's like, cool, that means you're irresponsible with your money. And you're willing to flee the country. And you're willing to flee the country for tax fraud that I know you're committing. <laughs> uh, I do like that you have pics with a friend. We're just like making fun of this woman. I'm getting meaner as this video is going on. <laughs> This is a Harry Styles number one simp. My uniform girls fuck. Which means you follow Michaela and she raids dogs. Nice. I like that. <coughs> the way to win me over is ask me how my day was. The bar is literally on the floor. Be better. I know the bar is literally on the floor for like straight dudes, but like yeah. you don't have to say it. Yeah. Like just communication. Because this is you're giving them a bar, so now they know how to underperform. Yeah. Like they won't even ask you how your day was. <laughs> You'll be lucky if you get it. Hey. 2257. Uh, the fan. You live in the fan. I geek out on lifting and skincare products. Lifting, like weights, I'm assuming you're talking about. That would be big. Like, show like a picture of you lifting weights. Lifting other people. <laughs> <laughs> Uplifting people's souls. <laughs> she lives in the fan, which the fan is like the prettiest part of Richmond. Okay. I can teach you how to just a selfie. <laughs> You. Um, I'm looking for someone that understands that I'm funnier and smarter than they are. Period! You gotta show that you're funnier and smarter. Because I don't see any examples of you being funnier or smarter. Add a meme. Yeah, add a meme. And say something about climate change. Mm-hmm. Get rid of the bars literally on the floor. Yeah. Have some standards. It's okay to have standards. There are men out there that will meet your standards. Roast me, I'm a lesbian. It's just a picture. <laughs> just roast how she looks. <laughs> God, you look stupid. <laughs> This is Manda, she's 22, uh, looking for someone to read to me because I can't. I like that no. there's so many illiterate people that follow this us. This is a safe space for illiter <laughs> illiterate people. My third grade teacher described me as a third grade student. Meta. <laughs> she broke the fourth wall. If I could donate a million dollars, it'd be to myself. I like the dry sense of humor. A lot of mirror selfies. Creepy. But I mean, you covered all your bases, you got a cute one, you yeah. got something funny. I would say delete the filter one. Yeah, the first one with the glasses. Probably, oh, yeah, we don't know what you look like. Yeah, or put that at the bottom. All right, good luck, Amanda. <laughs> Thank you, Amanda. <laughs> Taylor, I'm bisexual. But she's pretty. She's a dental hygienist. No bio, 5'5". Five five. Okay. Well, maybe she didn't put a bio because, like, you can't really talk to a dentist because they're always in your mouth. Uh, yeah. Favorite quality in a person's sense of humor, cliche, yes, but I like to laugh. Who doesn't like to laugh? Delete that! We'll get along if you don't mind getting rid of any bugs I see while I scream. Got a lot of bugs in your room? I think what you're looking for is an exterminator. <laughs> you're looking to hire a professional service. You would not believe the amount of roaches in my home. <laughs> Please God, somebody help me. <laughs> Equality to me means I eat fries out of both of our containers on the ride home. See, that's creative. I'd move that towards the top. Yeah, make that make that your bio. Um, if you have any pictures with friends, I'd add them just as well. Almost every single one of these has a filter on it. Cause here's the thing, you're not gonna have a filter in real life. On my on my Tinder, I have a picture. <laughs> of me edited as Brett Michaels looking like this and it's my face on Brett Michaels and it's it's me doing this and it says Brett Michaels <laughs> because they need to know that when they see me I'm gonna look like this. I'm gonna quote Rock of Love. <laughs> God, those girls were nasty. Yeah. I wanted to be them so bad. Just got my heart broken last week. Uh, what if I did only Sarah's? Okay, so this <laughs> one is... <laughs> I'm so gay. This is Sarah23. Um, she said, just got my heart broken last week, so this is aimlessly in the dating abyss. Is this a, because I know very little about lesbians. Is the van jogger combo the staple? Yeah. Why is that? It's just flattering. We'll always have fun because I'm always ready to die. <laughs> <laughs> Kill myself <laughs> if you tell me to. Don't change that. That's um, fantastic. Is it a picture of you and your ex? Oh god. It's always hard to tell with women. Oh shit. Work, bitch. My drink, dr my dream dinner guest is Natalie Portman. Natalie Portman in Star Wars or Natalie Portman in Black Swan? Or Natalie Portman in Pirates of the Caribbean. That was Kira Knightley. Good try. Was it? <laughs> yeah. No, I love this picture so much. It's really good. Keep that. Move it to the front. Yeah. You're just, you're newly single. You gotta really put yourself You gotta there. show them what we're cooking. With. And we're cooking with peanut oil. This is a very low quality picture. I mean, you are displaying your lack of fingernails, but like. What is this? At what cost? What, what is this? I think this is just her trying to do the peace sign casually. Oh. It's not a gay symbolism. She's not pointing at something on her head? Yes, it is. What? 
I would get a higher quality mm. picture. 4K. I want to see every form <laughs> of your face. <laughs> I want to see every lump, bump, and pore. No, like if you have a picture with a friend because the way you're standing with that other girl makes it seem like... This also looks like a middle school picture. Yeah. I love this bio. Just switch out, swap out the pictures. So this is Caitlyn. She's demolished my... Oh, she's pansexual. Okay, okay. so Caitlyn is 20. Pansexual means it, the gender doesn't matter. Yeah. Okay. Um, waiting to get back to work at COVID-19. Okay. She works for the virus. <laughs> <laughs> Looking to find someone cool to spend my free time with. I love mu live music, local coffee shops, hiking, and Xbox. Currently not getting enough protein. INFJ 5W4. She filed her taxes this year. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that means. 5W4. <laughs> Five foot four? Enneagram type 5W4. It's also a type of a uh, high vacuum rectifier AC valve. <laughs> so she could be talking about She's that. She's a mechanic and she works for the virus. A vintage Raytheon. <laughs> you are afraid to be yourself, can talk about more than work or school, and thrive off of travel. Boring. Do you like to travel? I think everyone likes to travel. And everyone doesn't like boring conversations. Yeah. It's like everyone's just like, if you're a functioning human being, we'll get along. Yeah. You know? I'm sorry. We're being mean, but like... No, but I mean, obviously this isn't working yeah. if you're submitting this. The three things that make a relationship great. Good conversation, comfortable silence, and the ability to goof around. Erase the first one and just keep this one, maybe. Because the good conversation, comfortable silence, I do like how that's very poetic. And then the ability to goof around. The third one will be, don't, don't cheat on me. <laughs> don't. Um, if you snore. Good conversation, comfortable silence, and breathe right strips. No, what would be a good one? Believe Look into or... the future. <laughs> Clairvoyance. <laughs> Conversation, comfortable silence, and clairvoyance. You have to predict my future. Favorite quality in a person, their sense of humor and emotional intelligence. You look, they're just, there's too many like qualities about the other person and not about, not, not. Yeah, you're very person. picky. I think you're very, very picky. I can't stress enough how much I don't want to have small talk with you. You absolutely <laughs> need to keep me entertained, but also shut up. Shh. <laughs> Comfortable silence. While we're traveling to Spain. <laughs> While we're on a 17 hour plane ride. Had to entertain me without speaking on an 8 hour flight to Spain. And also be funny. <laughs> and support me emotionally. Oh, oh she's I in Texas. I love that. I love the last picture though. That's cute. Make that your first picture. That's very cute. <laughs> Clairvoyance. Oh okay, <laughs> let me tell you, story time. My favorite Tinder match I've ever had. Well, it was on Bumble. It was this guy <laughs> during, remember the eclipse? The yeah. solar eclipse? His bio was something like, Looking for a freaky bitch to do wicked shit with during the eclipse. <laughs> I messaged him and I was like, let's fucking go. <laughs> I've got some potions ready to go. And he was like, sick. I have a black cat. And we went back and forth. Oh, free Liz. I don't want to do a political one. Um, Is Elizabeth Warren in prison? <laughs> <laughs> Elizabeth Holmes. Right after she dropped out of the race, she was arrested. <laughs> okay, he's straight. So this is Kevin. He's I 19. am tall. I'm tall. The straight man. I am tall, but how tall? Other, uh, he drinks and he's 19. Can he, someone say going to hell? Can someone say criminal? <laughs> he likes dogs. He's cute. Is he? Yeah. I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, sure. Oh, that's it. He has no bile. Oh, okay. You need more personality. Well, I mean, I guess I am tall would signal that you have no personality. Yeah. We have a friend who's like 6'5", and that's his entire personality. He stands in his living room, and girls throw themselves at him. Joey's gonna watch this and cry. Joey's gonna be like, stupid, stupid. I would add something funny about yourself, or interesting, anything at all. Kevin, you gotta give us something to work with, man. Mm, like my uncle buys me beer. Are you the type of straight that jumps off of roofs when you're drunk onto foldable tables? Add some flair. Add something else. I am tall and... I like the office. Can't re... <laughs> Everyone can't read. Just add it to it. I am tall and I don't know how to brush my own teeth. That was sad. It's like everyone like just gave up. They're like, here's facts about me. I'm thinking, do people not sit down and think, okay, I'm gonna make this bio something that someone wants to read. Yeah. Like imagine, like think about when you're matching with other people, you want to know about them, mm -hmm. things that you can talk about. So why would you be like, I'm Libra? No yeah. one cares. Gay women a little bit, but it's like, they're probably just gonna be like, oh, 
oh, I like you or I don't like you based on your sign. They're not going to like go into like, can Which you- Which is not helpful at all. Yeah, let's talk about your Libraism. Right. Like the reason why so many celebrities with their Instagram captions are like a question because like people fucking love talking about themselves. Yes. You got to get people like talking about themselves or else it really just like, cool, you're hot, you yeah. know, sort of thing. That's just a main advice. Ask a question. Yeah. All right, guys, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please subscribe to my Patreon. I put out videos 24 hours in advance on there, and I'm a little bit inconsistent, so with those, wait, that's not the same message. <laughs> subscribe to me and turn on post notifications because I'm a bit inconsistent, so those are your best bet. Please also subscribe to Brittany and watch the first part of this video. And if you have any follow-up or if we hurt any of your feelings, I'm sorry, you're gonna have to get over that. That's yeah. how you asked to be roasted. You literally kind of. asked. But, um, I'm sorry, I love you. I will see you guys next week. Goodbye.